Hey guys, so I have been avoiding my weigh-in for a while now. It wasn't really like that though. I want to talk to you guys real quick of what happened and why was I MIA. Because I committed to doing these weight loss journey episodes on this channel to keep myself accountable. And obviously I have pretty much failed at that. So, moving on. Um... The next weigh-in that was supposed to happen was going to happen, um, and that day I actually had something really important in the morning, so I couldn't film in the morning. Well, what happened the rest of the day was something pretty sad. Um, I got some bad news, and so therefore I just was not in the mood to film the update at all. Not only that, um, I did weigh myself that morning and I really was like, oh, I know I'm going to weigh less, like I feel so good, I was drinking only water, like eating way better. Like, I knew that I had lost weight and let me tell you why. Because I have this belt that I use, which I don't have it with me, but I will show it to you guys in one of the episodes um, coming up. I have this belt that has like the holes, it's like an old school belt, but it has like holes and then like the design is like has double holes right throughout so it's a belt that no matter how what size you get the belt as long as it fits you like at the beginning um and you keep losing weight you will be able to keep buckling it and buckling it and buckling it because it has two holes throughout the thing it's like all holes so you'll see it eventually i don't know what they're called but that morning i woke up put on my jeans put on my belt because i like wearing my belt so when I sit down, because I do have like, you know, belly fat or lonjas in, in Spanish, if you, that's, that's what they're called. Um, when I sit down, my jeans tend to fold over um, and then I have to get up and adjust the jeans and pull them up, right? So my belt helps because that way they don't really do that. Or if I do that, like when I sit down and I get up and I'm wearing a belt, they kind of like adjust themselves. So that's why I wear a belt. So that morning, that Friday, because that's when I upload these um, journey videos on Fridays, my weight loss ones I got up put my jeans put my belt on and I've but I buckled it that day I count the buckles right so um, seven the mm, seven holes in so I'm all the way up to the seventh hole and I was so excited I hadn't gotten it that far I think that was the first time I ever buckled it in the seventh hole. So I was so excited. I was excited when I got to the number six. So that morning that I got up, I'm like, I definitely lost weight. I know I did. Uh, and I got on the scale and guess what? My last weigh-in was at 218. That morning when I got it in the seventh hole and everything, I got up weighed in at like 224, which puts me in, I think it was like 218 was my last one. So 218 to 224, but yeah, I felt even better than before. I was so confused. I was so upset. So that was depressing as it was. But I wasn't going to let that stop me because I'm like, I buckled it in the seventh hole. I don't care what you say scale. I was like, screw the scale, right? Um, so that happened. But then on top of it, I got really bad news. Got really depressed. I don't want to talk about the bad news really right now. Maybe that'd be a separate video. Um, which just led me into really getting depressed. Didn't want to film. I have a vlog channel. Didn't want to vlog. If you guys follow me on Snapchat, didn't want to Snapchat. I went kind of missing on that, but I did let people know why I was gone. So if you already know, then you already know. Um, so that's kind of what happened, guys. And then that leads me to emotional eating. Um, I was just depressed. Um, things like that. Although I really didn't go too far off. I did weigh myself this morning, not this morning, yesterday, because I was going to film this yesterday. And I weighed in again at 224, like that area. Um, so, I mean, I'm just kind of maintaining, I guess. I don't know. Um, I did try the belt buckle, and it was at number six. So, obviously... The number seven felt a little too tight, so I'm sure I gained something, but I, you know what? I also just, I, I'm just tired of listening to the scale. If I weigh myself, like I felt so good that Friday, and then I weighed myself and all, went all down the drain because I was like, it was about to go down the drain, okay? Because I felt good until I got the bad news. Then I just got really, like really depressed. Anyways, moving on. I did get some comments on the video which from Tommy you got you advised me to keep to drink green tea because it really helps and I started drinking green tea so currently I am doing that and it's really helping um, 
So thank you for doing that because that really inspired me and just was like, you know what, I'm going to add this. You know, because previously, years ago, I did lose 40 pounds and green tea was, I drank that every day, like three cups a day. So I was just like, you know, I should just start that again. You're, they're right. He's right. Um, so I did that. Um, he also advised me not to listen to the scale. Just don't listen to it. And I think I'm just not going to listen to it because if I feel better, if I feel skinnier, like I don't need some digital freaking square thing telling me otherwise, right? If I feel better because then just instantly ruins my self-esteem. So I should just stop weighing myself, period. Um, what's another update? Because I just feel like I'm babbling on. Another update is I am doing a juice cleanse, uh, which I will review that soon. I'm currently still doing the juice cleanse, so that's all I wanted to say about that. Um, I haven't eaten that bad at all. It's just that I don't see the number on the scale going down, so it's kind of affecting me. But I'm also busy packing for a trip that we're going on, and that's kind of thrown me off schedule and all of that. Um, but yeah, so currently I'm still weighing at 224 ish so from my last weigh-in I'm up a few pounds but I still feel great like you guys will see I have this haul coming I'm not gonna do a body shot today right now um, but there's the next video after this video is a clothing haul and you guys are gonna see body shots because I try on all the clothes so I definitely see a difference when I dress up do my makeup do my hair and have this cute outfit on and I'm out and about I feel like I can tell I'm thinner. I just, the number on the scale really irks me. So I just I need to stop doing that um, and just stop being a Debbie Downer because that affects my diet a lot. Um, I'm barely just starting to get, you know, back in the groove. Um, but in my mood, I am an emotional eater, so that has a lot to do with it. I wish I wasn't. Um, but I'm just going to try to keep myself upbeat and just moving on and just continue with this journey. So I'm so sorry that I went MIA and I have missed out, I think, on two weigh-ins. I'm so sorry. Um, but I definitely still see my goal and want to get there. So hopefully I just, you know, keep on going. So thank you guys for subscribing to this channel. Um, check out my blog channel. Thank you guys for all your inspirational uh, messages on snapchat and that I inspire you to lose weight and that when you guys see me at the gym and all that um, you know I inspire you so thank you it's so hard it's such a hard um, journey but I just feel so much better I have so much energy when I don't go to the gym it's like I know I'm gonna have a bad day so I love working out I've been going um, recently I'm gonna keep working out on my vacation I'm gonna be vlogging um, so we'll just just go follow me there, you guys will see. Another thing is that it's funny how I nitpick and I call out my, what is it called? I don't give myself enough credit, I think, because something exciting, um, I also, and now currently, I went a size down, so that's how I know I'm on the right track and I'm losing weight. I am shopping now a size down than what I used to be shopping. Um, I was an 18, now I'm a 16. And I feel like I didn't even realize it. I was still in denial. I currently recently um, shopped for my trip that I'm going on. And a lot of the things I kept ordering in my regular size, which was 18, my starting size. And it wasn't fitting. It was too big. Um, so I don't give myself enough credit because instead of being happy that it was a size, like it wasn't fitting me because I was shopping at my old size. I was complaining about how it didn't fit me like that oh I wasted my time like I ordered this online and now I have to return it and it doesn't fit but then I was like you know what Jackie dude like it doesn't fit you you need to shop a size smaller now like get over it you know what I mean so that's also how I know I'm on the right track I went a size down I'm so excited so I just wanted to share that with you because sometimes I think we don't give ourselves enough credit um, we just look at the bad things we can point everything out but there's some good things that we need to just give ourselves credit for and know that you know with time it will we will get what we want or that goal that we're going for so just don't give up basically and that I'm saying it for myself as well don't give up Jackie if you're watching this weeks from now years from now because I do watch my videos back when I need to get back on it sometimes 
So this will be my third weigh-in, and unfortunately, I'm not getting, I'm not going to show you getting on the scale, but like I said, I weighed 224, um, but I still feel like great, you know? I just have to be consistent. So thank you again, and I will see you guys in the next weigh-in, but actually before that, there will be a haul fashion video. So go check that out when it's up. And I will see you guys give later. Me Bye. Reasons, give me a million reasons. Giving me a million reasons. About a million reasons. I